The dreaded black screen or black screen of death can happen for any number of reasons in Windows 10, from loose connections to faulty graphics drivers. Here we've gathered some quick fixes showing you how to fix this age-old problem. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is how to fix a black screen on Windows 10, five easy methods. Being greeted with a black screen, or black screen of all-consuming nothingness as I like to call it, is always a bit of a shock. It may even be more terrifying than the dreaded blue screen of death, because at least the latter shows you some signs of life. Here we're going to take you through the most common causes and fixes for a black screen on Windows. The obvious stuff. Loose connections, dying monitor cables, or the simple possibility that your screen may be switched off, particularly on laptops where pressing the function key and the F key with the screen symbol on it can toggle the screen on and off, are some of the most obvious reasons why your screen's not working. Before we move on to the more comprehensive stuff, double check that all the aforementioned things are in order. Windows outputting to wrong monitor. If you dabble in multi-monitor setups and second screens, and if that second screen isn't on or connected at that particular time, it may cause your main screen to fire blanks. Assuming you're in Windows, press Win plus P twice and then hit Enter. If that fails, hit Win plus P three times, and then Enter. If that fails, then do it four times and hit Enter. Even though you can't see what's going on, when pressing these buttons, you're toggling through Windows second screen options, selecting a different one each time and potentially triggering your main display to reappear. Video output port has changed. Sometimes, without your permission, or after a Windows or GPU driver update, the default video port might change unexpectedly. So if you are using a DVI cable, the default port might change to HDMI, or the default output port might change from the HDMI port on your GPU to the one on your motherboard. Try plugging an HDMI cable into the different HDMI ports on your PC. Combine this with the Win plus P tip we mentioned earlier. If you finally do get a picture, plug the cable back into the port you want to use, and Windows should register it. Misinstalled or buggy graphics card driver. A common one for game is this. Sometimes a graphics driver update, be it AMD, Nvidia or Intel, doesn't go as well as it should or your current graphics drivers have picked up some bugs leading to a black screen. If this happens, you should go into Windows Safe Mode and reinstall or update the drivers from there. Safe Mode doesn't load your GPU drivers so your display should be unaffected there. To go into Safe Mode you'll need a Windows 10 recovery drive or installation disk or drive. Once you've created or found it, insert it into your PC, reboot your PC or turn it on, and then in the recovery menu select your keyboard layout followed by troubleshoot, advanced options, command prompt. Here enter the command C colon, hit enter and type bcd edit slash set curly brackets default boot menu policy legacy followed by enter. Next, close the command prompt window and click turn off your PC. Then as it's booting, repeatedly press F8 in the advanced boot options menu, select safe mode with networking. Once you're in safe mode with networking, reinstall or update your graphics drivers. Have you overclocked your monitor? Alternatively, if you're into overclocking your monitor and have just updated your drivers, there's a chance that Windows is still trying to run the screen at a higher refresh rate, 90 hertz, 120 hertz, or whatever, even though the updated drivers reset the refresh rate to default. To fix this, you'll need to go into safe mode. Find whatever program you use to overclock your monitor, custom resolution utility in our case, and remove the overclocked resolution. After that, log into Windows as you normally would, and the screen should work. After that, you can get back to patching your GPU drivers again and overclocking your monitor. Conclusion A black screen issue is a tough issue to pin down because it's so frustratingly broad. Hopefully, however, we've covered enough bases here that with their help you'll be able to get your screen back to its lucid best. If you like this video then please punch that like button and leave a comment and also maybe head over to our Make Tech Easier YouTube channel for more guides, tutorials and lists about all things tech. Our channel covers Windows, Linux, Mac, iOS, Android and all the weird things in between so we'll almost definitely have something for you. Better still, hit the subscribe button and never miss our latest videos and for bonus credit hit the notification bell too to be alerted immediately when new videos hit the channel. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's it for now. See you next time.